Okay, so new beginning. This is where the video is going to be starting afterwards, because apparently the with my update of OBS, everything got kind of screwed up. Uh, so let's let's like we're not going to recap, like rewind or anything, because we're in the middle of something. But uh, so new beginning, so everyone can hear everybody. Much appreciated. Jeez. Okay. Let's let's get back into this. So um, we're gonna we're gonna probably start the edited video here. Right, let me do like a quickie quickie recap. Basically. We had some tech gremlins, but we're back now. Everything should be okay. The group has entered the Lost Labs of Elitar. They are venturing down in this in order to try and race against time to get their free guild's deed in order to uh, not have to grind all the stuff that they need to get a free guild so that they can do guildy stuff. Um, as is in other episodes, watch them if you haven't seen. They're stuck in a video game. They don't know if this is just a temporary thing. They're not freaking out totally about it yet. They just think that, you know, it's only been a couple of hours. Maybe it's just a tech thing that the moderators have to deal with or something. Um, but while they're waiting for the ability to log out, they're just uh, adventuring in a dungeon. And that's where they are. And currently we have uh, Gluckster sort of hanging upside down from a rope. And he was just like shooting and killing some slimes. Uh, everyone else was killing slimes in this particular room, but in the rest of this area, there may be more dangers around. So that is where we are. Uh, KFG has just finished demolishing yet another slime. And that's where we're continuing on from there. Uh, thank you to my players for understanding for the tech gremlins. <laughs> Fuck's sakes. Start helping jamie down and be like royale you come over here too now look the the first thing oh. about gun safety we're still we're still in a combat situation i will let you know oh are we oh yeah oh yeah oh shit yeah so right now kfg it doesn't realize that we're still in combat like <laughs> yeah. he keeps talking basically just like you can like talk and stuff individually but if you go to help him down it'll wait till your turn because yeah your other things yeah. are moving around in the rest of this area um, well, things are happening. You do see the two open doors leading out of this little room. Uh, KFG, you just, uh, you just finished doing your thing here. What are you doing? Um, you, you moved? I don't remember now. That's uh, I moved and then I punched the thing yeah. and it died. So now I'm ending my turn. Okay. All right. Oh, we had the two drops. So Emmett, it is, it is your turn. If you want to be like, go and like, see if you can help him down and stuff. Oh, and you had the two Did drops. Anybody grab those two drops? Let me let me get They're yeah. on the floor. KFG didn't grab them. Uh let me get a thing. Loot pile. Let me put them in the loot pile. Can you just drag them from the chat there? Oh yeah. Uh I guess uh, I could have taken them. Uh move and move. There you go. There, I'll even move it like closer to you guys. Uh, so Emmett, what you doing, buddy? Oh, they're all tangled up, and you got the put that gun away. Don't point the nozzle at anybody. You just it's terrible. What, what are you doing, Jamie? I'm gonna I'm try to use, <laughs> try to use my spear to cut him down. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, so you, um, I would allow you make an attack with your spear. I think this is Emmett's first attack in the game. Has Emmett rolled an attack before? No. I think this is his first, and it's against a rope. <laughs> nice. Uh, so yeah, you manage to like. Um, okay. Are you trying to sever the strap on his backpack, or are you trying to sever the rope? The rope. Okay, so uh, you sever the rope, like you just managed to barely reach up there, like that, like three meters, um, and you managed to sever it at that like three meter point, and uh, Gluckster falls. It's not enough to actually like cause any damage or anything per se, like especially since he, he was expecting it. So he just bit of a tumble. Gluckster's no problem. He, he manages to fall fairly easily. Um, the rope is cut, however, and it looks like there's no other way uh, back. Out this way. We might have needed that to go back up. Why would we have to go back up? Oh no. 
you're getting up off the ground the backpacks all tangled up. I'm like, thanks, Emma. I appreciate that, man. We're going through. You're welcome. Now, see, I'm just like the ice poker, the Alaskan ice pokers. Oh, yeah. But they're catching the ice, right? Yeah, be careful with that gun, young man. Don't be I'll shooting it from no away. ropes while you're hanging upside down. Shoot all the things. Bruh, he hit, he hit the all. guy. He hit the thing. It doesn't mean it wasn't dangerous. <laughs> That's me. All right. Canoe Crusher. We're still in combat. want to go to that loot chest, but I can't... Uh... Make a speed roll, I guess. Yeah, if you want to go over there and search too. it, you're going to need to make a speed roll. All right. That's a just enough, yes. Woohoo! All right. Uh, and then uh, let me unlock it because I would just like it's just an, you don't have to roll or anything to search it. It was just like an action to search it. Oh. Hey, some more stuff. Uh, split the non-existing currency. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and do that if you want. That's just like a button in the game, so that's not even like part of looting it. That's just like boom. Well, there was no currency anyway, so <laughs> it was just the oh, non-existing yeah. currency. Um, also, as part of huh. searching it, you do see the stuff on him. If you do want to snag anything for yourself as part of this like um search action, you can. Wait, there's stuff on him other than. Uh, What's in here? Yeah, do you not see? There's a shield, a sword, and brigandine armor. Yeah, I figured that's all the loot there is. Yeah, yeah. If you want to yeah, scan one of body. those, it's on the body. Yeah. Oh, that's what. Oh, this, yeah. That's why it says loot over top of a skeleton. Okay, I'll I'll grab them all for now. Sure. I'll hand them out in a bit. Let me. There you go. Okay. Oh, and, and part as part of the something dropping action, I'll let you guys... Uh, no, you know what? It would be an action to, like, loot from the stuff that fell on the ground, so... You guys really want that bundle of twigs or the wooden figurine of the dog? You'll have to work for it. So I could still move a little bit. You can still move a little bit, yes. Uh, which way do you want to guys... Which way do you guys want to go, up or down? In the main tank, we've got to follow you either way. Follow your heart, Billy. Lead we'll the way. Up. I don't know this dungeon. N none of us do. Also, who could use a shield and sword and armor? Because I already have armor. We can do that later. I'm just, just letting you know. Oh, uh, I probably should push the button. All right. Royale with cheese. Uh, yeah, I don't care about the bundle of twigs as much, but I'm going to grab that wooden dog figurine. Are you the one that has one of the other figurines, too? Yup. Uh, I'll grab the twigs. It might make good kindling. Can I grab them both? Or yeah, I'll, I'll let you grab them both. Okay. Yeah, cool. I'll just scoop them up and tuck them into my sack. Did it not give me the brigandine armor? Is it because I already cool. have brigandine armor? Oh, maybe it shows us two brigandine armors? The loop disappeared out of the crate there. I don't see a uh, second one. Uh, yeah, real maybe, it's, maybe it's because you already had one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we'll just remember that you have a second one on you, too. <laughs> Because technically that goes in the combat tab, so it, like it probably didn't know what to do with it. So yeah, you've got a second brigandine armor if someone else wants it. It's not really worth anything to sell anyways if someone don't doesn't want it, so that was my turn. Yep, yep, yep. These, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, you know, let's stay back a little bit. You're moving in. 
Slimes are not the fastest things in the world. You're going this way. Gluckster! I'm like, hey, I'll, I'll be more careful with the glizzy, man. The pop, the pop, the bam, bam, the strap, you know? And you'll see him, like, take the glizzy off. Like, his character will visually, like, unequip the glizzy. Okay. With the bow and arrow in that slot or something. What the hell is a glizzy? <laughs> I, I thought it's it was hot. So how far can I move in the green? Uh, if you're not doing anything except moving, you can just move in the green without having to worry about... Um... Like making a roll or anything. Yeah, I'll just be like sliding around doing like the dash, sure. the unnecessary dashes this way. And then that's me right there. Yeah, sure. All right, KFG. KFG's being chilling. She's gonna like move over here, try and get some view. Um, yeah, I guess that's probably just everything. Actually, I can move. Further right, because I can go into the yellow. Or whatever. Uh, oh, you move. You're moving yourself with a green, different right? tool when you're moving yourself. Before it was like purple. It doesn't. It's not tracking your distance oh. when you're doing that. Like it doesn't know how far oh, you've it. gone. Where was I? So, uh, like, back here. Or something? Yeah, like, I was like back there. here because I moved like three meters when I moved. What I used the squares, right? I know. And now it's tracking from where you just moved there. <laughs> it's oh, fine. God. It's fine. All right. You know, I'm just going to move there and, and then end my turn. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know which tool you were using to move yourself with, like, the purple thing, but then it doesn't know. know how far you've moved when you do that. I'm not sure what I... I must have misclicked or something. My bad. That's okay. It's okay, though. It's okay. It's okay. I go too far. Okay, stay with us. So moving in the green is just an action, or...? Yeah, that's it's just your action if you want to move green. It uh, doesn't, doesn't cost you anything, doesn't roll anything. Okay, yeah, I won't move too fast. I accidentally W key really hard. <laughs> Just like oh, stutters, sweet oh, man. Like presses sprint by accident. Like, yeah. All right, turn this just... off. Just full sent it in there, guys. It's like an ability that you can't cancel. It just makes you like run forward really fast or some shit. Like... He hit auto run until it like just like hit a thing. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got him, man. I'm like, they sorry. Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> sorry, can, can, can I roll a speed to see if I can do an action? Is that how that works? Yeah, go ahead. Great at these. Yeah, you can still do an action as well. If you had failed, all that would have happened is you just couldn't have done the action. Uh, I'm just like the Alaskan ice pokers when I'm sliding across the ice here. That's pretty funny. You know, canoes, they just are so universal and so great. And the word canoe actually is derived from the French language. And uh, the French took the language from the Spanish word canoa. And it's just over the thousands of years it evolved. And it started out as it meant dugout tree, which is kind of a weird meaning. And I'm just going to start my uh, encouragement once again. Jeez. <laughs> okay. Look here from another room. We can't see him. He just continues to keep rambling. Yeah. He, oh, and there's, his voice. there's a bunch of jellies out here. A bunch of marmalades. Oh, and there's a bunch of jellies yeah. out here. Yeah. I think I see a flan. <laughs> Guys, there's dessert in this room. Hey, Billy. Hi. I think you're. I think you're close enough. Yeah, uh, you're just close I'll enough. You could, roll. you could. Um, you got to do a speed roll, but yeah, you're just close enough. You'd be able to attack it. Yeah, more than enough. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, let's just bash it. Uh, my damage is only two on a bash or on a regular attack, so I'm just going to actually bash it. Okay, you by one. I used to buy one. Oh. That Ouch. is not enough. 
<clears throat> At least it wasn't a one. <laughs> it, it wasn't a one. Um, <laughs> it wasn't a one. <laughs> so, like, you ran up as far as you could, and you, you like, went, ah, oh, bash attack! And you, like, bring it down, and you realize that you, like, attacked that little bit too early, like you misjudged the timing, and just slammed in front of the slime, which isn't even phased by it. It's still very slowly inching up towards you. Yeah. Uh, and that would be it. Uh, oh, I made the attacks. Why did I? Why am I rolling that? Derp. Royale with cheese. All right, let's see what we got here. Do, 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 do. Well, we get like another three. Right up next to Sir Billiam over here. I think you're just shy. Yeah. You're just shy of being able to attack it with a melee. That's fine. Uh, speed roll to, to be able to attack, right? Yeah. Uh, yes, that is enough. Cool. I'm um, a pop a cap. Pew, pew. And I get it's eased by one, right? Yep. It is eased by one. Because of canoes. Uh, I am going to uh, apply a level of effort as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's gonna hit uh, four um, damage. Four damage. All right. That's a nice solid hit. Not quite enough to take it out in one shot, um, but it is enough that, like, a bunch of, like, the insides of this, like, green slime just sort of scatter behind it. Cute skis. Did you and hold yeah. it sideways? I did. Meow. That's not, again, you didn't, you're not even bending your knees properly. You can't keep your left hand at your side. You have to both hands on the gun. It's it's a game, Emmett. Just just chill out. Just chill out and talk about your canoes, man. This is my this is my territory. Pass when you're done. I'm really interested to see if by the end of this, if Emmett by the end of the campaign, if Emmett is still Emmett as we know him now, or if he like has a dramatic personality shift, like he's becomes like some dark lord or something. Just walks up and snaps somebody's neck. Yeah. Probably Billy. <laughs> oh. Ah. It was already headed this way. I told you to change your name. <laughs> Snap. Oh, and I should show you guys pictures because I don't think you've come across the the purple slimes yet. So let's let's show off the pictures of the slimes again. So you've got your standard green slimes, like this. You've got your cute little blue slimes, like this. Uh, and now you've also come across purple slimes. Like, the further we get into it, the, this, the more adorable the slimes get each time. It's like, you want us to feel like monsters when we kill them. Oh, you just wait. I haven't brought out the cutest ones yet. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, Alright. Uh, yeah, he's gonna get as far as there. Oh, wow. Well, I, that's their entire turn is just moving at that point. It's just the slime's booking it as fast as slimes can be. <laughs> uh, however, this glum slime can actually go up and try to do something. So it's going to go up on Canoe Crusher. It's going to try and hurt you. Yeah. Try and stop it. All right. All just right. Shield. Stop it with the shield. Uh, speed. Defense. 
players. Yeah, so you go up, you just easily, like, this is a, like a slime that's half of it's been shot away already. It's barely coming up to you. It's just like, eh. And you just knock it away with your shield. No problem. Uh, Gluckste. Can't really see, so I'm just gonna pick rolling around. Just roll up in here. Oh, now I can see. Yep. How much more do I have? Uh, quite Where's a bit. Yellow? Can I move here? Okay. Then I'll just start slicing them up. Uh, Alright, I need a speed test uh, because you went in green, just to see if you can still do an action. Oh, sweet. Speed uh, task. Oh, no, never mind. You have fleet of foot, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, never mind. I can still move a bit more and it's in the yellow. Yeah, just do your thing. You can, there. you can just do your thing. <laughs> You're fast. That'll hit. That'll do it. We uh, just keep swinging so fast you just hear the swings in the air. They oh, never mind. Sorry, I forgot the blue, blue slimes are slightly tougher than the green ones. No, sorry. It, Difficulty it should, two will not hit. It should be eased by one. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, Emmett's easing them all. Okay, it will hit. Uh, I keep forgetting to set that. My bad, my bad. No worries, no worries. Uh, so that's four damage that you're doing to it. Uh, but the blue slimes are slightly tougher, so it only takes three. KFG, you are in this room with all these slimes coming in through these, this southern door, and everyone has left to the north. Yup, KFG's like, hey, cool, there's a lot of shit. <laughs> um, so it, I can move into the green and do a speed roll to attempt an action? Yes. Alright, I'm gonna move here. Oh, I see, there are things. Well, okay. Uh, oh no. Yes! <clears throat> Yikes. Uh, okay, I, I I have an idea. I have an idea. I love this idea. Okay, this is sure. this is great. You're actually going to be here, so you you're okay. like I'm going to go catch up with everybody else. Um, but like you know how sometimes if the door's like slightly open and it, it does open towards you, you like catch it a little bit. Um, uh, yeah, I, I shut the door on myself. So you like shut the door and actually like you hear this crunch as it sort of slams into place and kind of gets a little stuck, and you're like okay. slammed against this now closed and stuck door by yourself. Nice. Oh God. <laughs> okay. Uh and then, FG yeah. just like he just, you know, turns his back, he's like, puts his hands up, he's like, Alright. <laughs> You're trapped in here with me. Yeah. Guys, where's KFG? End it when you're done. Oh, sorry. I thought it was I thought it was in here with you guys, man. I'm assuming I just saw that happen. Yeah, and standing Emmett, you just door. saw him running towards and then, like, accidentally, like, shoulder check the door close, and you hear, like, ah! Oh, fiddlesticks. Young whippersnapper is messing around. Followed by, like, a battle cry because KFG's, like, not sure if he's locked in or not, but there's a bunch of shit on his tail. Um... I have heavy tools. Okay. Can I try to, like, knock the door handle off so it unsticks the door? Like, So what I would do is I would give you, it's it's a might-based task, but I would give you an asset because you've got the heavy tools on you. Awesome. All right. Yeah. Okay. So that 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 is enough. You're. I'm. I'm actually just going to disable this door entirely. So it's not too bad. Hey, KFG. KFG like turns around and he's like, "Oh, thank fuck." <laughs> there you go. So you. What are you doing? Getting stuck behind doors. I, look, I I think it was a trap and it just went off. It's designed to split the party up. You know, back in my day, doors didn't close on their own. Yeah, but how many doors back in your day were trapped? 
This isn't the 30s, Dad. Um. True. <laughs> yeah, that's that's gonna be me. Okay. All right. Uh, canoe crusher. Okay. Wish I had like a a whirlwind attack. Um, there is one. You just don't have it. <laughs> I don't have it yet. I want it. I don't have it. Uh, let's do. Twelve. I don't even. I don't even know who to attack. I'll see what happens with this hot purple slime. Uh, I'm gonna bash it. Okay. Oh, we're not eased anymore, right? Because he did. Yeah. No. Yeah. No it, ease. Not eased yet. My God. Difficulty zero. Uh, but it wasn't a <sighs> one. So that's good. It wasn't, it wasn't a, one. a one. It wasn't a one. <laughs> but I am proposing an intrusion, anyways, because I want to have fun. You... <laughs> I could say no. It's up to you. Do you want to gain experience or lose it? Uh, he's gonna need this, I think. <laughs> uh, and you gave the KFG. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, I might. Yeah, you might need that. Being stuck behind the door. Well, the door's gone. Well, I guess you might. No, not I broke know the door. He saved oh, me. Oh well. Still Oh, yeah. Thanks, anyways. Okay. Uh, okay, so with that, you um, you you turn your back, and the other two slimes slash at this one, uh, giving the other slime sort of a concerted effort to be able to attack you back. Uh, so I would like a speed defense roll from you, please, as the other two slimes basically go to try and like jump on your back and attack you. Oh god! What well, damn? Okay. All right. Damn it! I was gonna have fun with that one. <laughs> uh, so you you turn around and the other slimes just like pounce on you, and you just in time. You sort of like turtle up, spin around, um, knocking the slimes back off of you, back to where they were. But I can't Oops. use that two damage. I mean, the clip and next. hit each of them once. Burr, burr. You okay? Um. Yeah. Uh. You do, I guess you, I mean, you could move technically. Is there anything else you want to do? Hmm? You did your no. action. Did you want to move? No. Okay. No, I, I was wondering with that hit, the plus two damage doesn't matter, right? On the 18? Uh, no, because you were just, no, no, not in that. Not in that case. Okay. Just if it had an attack component. All right. Okay. Pass it on when you're done. Uh, this slam swarm. Uh, spend its turn just getting to you. Royal cheese. Uh, Royal cheese. I see this blue one here, so I'm gonna toss the gun into the air. It's gonna shatter into glass, and I'm gonna get my claws again, and I'm gonna go for a claw attack. Nice. Very uh -oh. nice. Very uh -oh, nice. No. Can I uh, expend an experience to re-roll that? Yes, you can. Thank fuck. Ooh. Uh, it's not oh, enough to hurt it. I didn't add the effort to ease. Or like the, the ease task from... Uh, um, Emmett's not encouraging. I, I didn't do it this round. He broke okay. a door. So yeah, it's not quite enough. You go and something about this blue slime is a little bit tougher than the green ones, despite being much smaller. Yeah. Uh, darky purple slime. They're still short, right? Yeah. All right, still maneuvering them into place. Well, this little guy is just trying to catch up to everybody else. Blue I there's slime. There's a lot of shit on the other side of the store. <laughs> blue slime. Uh, okay, so the blue slime is going to uh, target rich environment. Uh, you know what, Royal Cheese, you're the one that just tried to attack it. Uh, blue slime is going to try and attack you. Let's try okay. and take it. Uh, or not take it, but to uh, you want to like take it, attack me. Sure, sure. Yeah, the, that is uh, an intellect. 
or yeah, your intimidation. That's what we're using for it. Um, yeah, that is that is enough. It's going to attack you instead. So now my defense. Raw. Uh, and that is enough. It sort of clangs off of your shield, and you're fine. <laughs> now you're doing great billy i realized with that like uh taunting things to attack you instead uh we've been very forgiving on it um apparently you're only supposed to be able to do it like once your turn but i mean that considering we're using this as like more of an mmo mechanics i'm going to allow it more than once a turn but if you want to start doing it sequential times i kind of i do want you to start applying levels of effort to use it for each for each additional time in a turn you do it we're going to apply additional levels of effort mm. okay uh, so we're still going to allow it multiple times but i realized like there's i guess there's for a reason just so that not all attacks are always pulled to the same person um but uh so your first couple of times should be no problem but if you start doing it like a fifth or sixth time then yeah it's going to be a little hefty uh, all right. Moving up. Hey, hot purple slime is going straight after Canoe Crusher. Uh, it is, yeah, just pseudopod punching out at you. Difficulty four is enough. You managed to slam it away from the shield. Uh, a bit of this, like, purple ichor just sort of, like, sliding off of the shield. Not today. <laughs> uh, the glum slime is also attacking Canoe Crusher. Uh, definitely not today. Definitely not today. <laughs> uh, and now we go back to Gluckster. I'm gonna like slide him, like just move over here a bit, like just slide on the ground. Sure. Like slicing at this blue slime here, still with the the shiv I have. So you're like slicing it as your apex sliding around. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, just dodge him. Yeah, so, so where were the ease by ease by one at the very bottom? Uh, well, we're not eased this we, turn. We're not oh, eased. Didn't do it this yeah. No, yeah. Emmett, Emmett took out the door this turn. Here. Gotcha, gotcha. I love this. Oh, I love no. this. This is going so good. Going to bed. Uh, all right. <laughs> it's got weighted dice. So you yeah, go. We need to weigh your dice. You go to slide like past the slime and and like like stab at it but instead you actually found yourself like the slime was a little bit over further than you thought and you went to slide through the slime um so the slime's getting a free attack on you can i get a speed defense task from you please yep uh one is not enough you're gonna take three points of might damage please <laughs> oh got me in the leg oh that'd be my turn right yeah stop go. trying to be so fancy and just kill him <laughs> I'm trying to well, kill him faster. that door is destroyed right yeah the door like there's still a door around there but he, he basically stopped it from being able to close again gotcha okay well let me cast Wind Key Boost on myself. Oh, let's go. Um, yeah, it just gives me an asset to speed defense rules. Nothing fancy. Um, Genji's going to back up a little bit, though, so that they kind of have to maybe come at him, like, one at a time or whatever. Okay. Um, that was action and movement. It's everything for me. Emmett. I have planks, material like wood, and I have my heavy tools. Can I try to fix the door? Uh, I yeah, I would let you like quickly like try to jury rig it if you wanted to just like see keep it like stuck. Yeah, sure. Because you've 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 got material wood on you. You've got tools. <laughs> yeah, I would allow yeah. it. Uh, okay. I have a wooden mask. Can I? Can he use that as well? Oh, he, like... He's literally got lumber on him. 
oh fuck let's go dude <laughs> yeah, um, man, it's call of duty zombies yeah, here and it did say most of the door is still there you just like disabled it so yeah if you want to go up and just like it's like a basic uh like intellect based task just to like know how to do it the best um you expend your one wood resource and just the there's like a wall here <laughs> a wooden Adam, wall what is what is your fucking character seriously so far he's carrying us through everything <laughs> he's, he's a fucking, yeah. in, 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 the, in the middle of a fantasy mmo is just a fucking straight up <sighs> like modern handyman yeah <laughs> can you just make an intellect task for me please yeah, I'm gonna use an effort to ease. Yeah, it's red green. Jesus. It's red green. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is a solid door. Um, nice. basically, like I'm giving the door like extra durability. Like if the slimes attempt to get through it, it is not gonna be easy. And you made it with such precision. There's no holes that a slime could try to ooze through either. Emmett just stands there watching, or, or fucking, like, as, as Emmett's doing that, KFG's just, like, watching him, like, just in awe. He's like, I've never seen someone work so fast, so efficiently before in my life. Measure twice, cut once, you know what they say. So I'm just Here I on am, I thought I was the god of efficiency. I don't know how to defeat a character as powerful as Emmett in this game. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> Fuck. I love it. Yeah, that's gonna be my turn. <laughs> Defeats a bunch of slimes there with a fucking hammer and nails. Um, alright. <laughs> oh my god. Canoe Crutcher. Alright. Uh. Let's see. Let's, uh, let's just try and. Yeah, let's just try and hit this purple. Hot purple slime. Hot. With a bash. Piping hot. Uh, Three is just enough. Yeah. Uh, and that's damage of three? Yes. All right. And it is dazed. Oh, it's dazed. So it's hindered. Oh, yeah, because the bash. Yeah. It's hindered on its next one. Got it. Yeah. And. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Slimes are not exactly smart. So this is going up to the door and that's it. It realized can't do anything. Royale with cheese. Uh, Royale with cheese is going to continue uh, going at that blue slime with his claws. Screaming portage! It's the weirdest shit. Uh, no effort to ease task on this one from Emmett? Uh, no, no, I built the door. Yeah, no free easements. Okay, well, I'm gonna use an effort to ease task then. Oh. Oh. Oh! <laughs> oh! Ooh. Uh, she's very dead, Jim. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna slap the plus four damage onto that sucker. Just, just shred it. Yeah, yeah, it's it's you up with the claws. It's just just gone. Just and I'm gonna back towards uh, KFG and Emmett. Okay. Uh, all right. Got you on the back. You did get you did good there, Royale. Uh, Portage. Portage! Portage! Man, Emmett totally split this encounter in two. What a fucking champ. I went from dicey to not dicey in, like, <laughs> instantly. <laughs> he just builds walls, whatever. Yeah, I'm just, just playing Fortnite. Yeah, literally, <laughs> Fortnite. Emmett, have you ever Emmett. played Fortnite before? You'd be amazing at it. Oh my no, god! Two weeks ago, I was over at Betty's. Uh, are are like, you sure you're sale. Billy's dad and not just like his friend who's cracked at Fortnite? No, I'm definitely his dad. Oh my god! Unfortunately, you haven't played The Sims, Emmett. All right, once we're allowed to log out, we're playing Fortnite. I I need to see Emmett. My phone has a SIM card. 
What? <laughs> he, he asked me if I played The Sims. I have a phone that has a SIM card. You mean like phone games? I don't really play phone games. I'm just gonna be shaking his head. Just. <laughs> Meanwhile, Canoe Crusher, you're getting attacked by the disorganized purple slime. No. Oh my god. Um, difficulty four is enough. You're still one in the newbie slime, so um, it goes up. It goes to slap you, and you're fine. It's fine. Moving on. <laughs> Uh, all right, so uh, this one is also going to be attacking you. It'll be a little bit easier because it is, has been dazed. Uh, yeah, more than enough, although now it is no longer dazed. And the little super newbie green slime is also going to uh, be it actually, it's gonna be attacking Gluckster or trying to attack Gluckster. Super newbie green slime. The the glum slime. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so Gluxer, I need a speed defense roll from you, please. Wow, your oh. guy's dice is just turned around. I'm from ones to twenties real quick. Uh major effect, Gluxer. I mean you can choose you can come up with something if you want, but I'll just give you a free attack on it if you'd like. Can like I just, like, kick him? Or, like, kick him back a bit or something? Sure, yeah. Be, like, a light weapon. So, it pretty much pretty much the same as, like, your, like, club or... I think it's the only... Why, oh, you have an unarmed strike there. You can just use that. Alright, alright. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, that's enough. You, you you kick him. It didn't actually kill it, um, but you you managed to hit him pretty good. It is it is on the verge of death, and then it's your turn. Try. I'll just try that again. I'll try to like. Stomp on the slime to finish Just it. Just keep boot stomping it. Ugh, stop! All right, now you Working killed again? it. Now you killed it. Yeah, he's just stomping on it now, like back and forth, like ah, just <laughs> like uh, ten stomps. <laughs> all right, so he's just like, even as it like dissipates into like the colored like polygons or whatever, he's just like stomping all these footprints in one area in the ground. Uh, are you moving anywhere? I'll I'll move just a bit right here. Okay, and then that's my turn. KFG. I won't be sliding. You're in front of a boarded KFG up wall. Gonna, he's gonna punch that purple slime that's next to him, since that wall is of master quality and definitely will <laughs> not be broken. Thank you, Sean. I should hurry to build a deck. Can you can you build decks? Oh, of course. He's like build. punching this slime. <laughs> Build decks, boats, rocking chairs, rocking horses. Uh, yes, your full power punch will indeed hit the hot purple slime. That is seven damage. Uh, that will kill yes. the hot purple slime. Hell Excellent. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's... I guess KFG will move up. You know what? Towards the other one. I'm gonna proffer you a GM um, intrusion. Okay. Sounds good. Because I got to use these uh, guys' special ability somehow. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I will give this one to. Who wants one? Who hasn't? Who doesn't have any X? Does anyone not have XP right now? I'm at zero XP right now. All right, I got you, bro. Uh, rail cheese, Ted. Bam. Hey, let's go, bro. Awesome. All right. He, like, bro fists him. <laughs> uh, alright. Excellent. So, uh, the, what I'm doing is uh, I'm allowing it to use basically its special ability on you. Normally, the purple slimes are known by another name. Poison slimes. Mm. Ah. 
Uh, so when you punched through it, uh, some of the poison like seeped into you, and you now have one poison level. You'll see in your combat, there's a lasting damage poisoned might. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so what this is is as the poison builds up over um, over time until you either like get rid of it through like anti venom or just resting or whatever. Um, the, your maximum might is technically going down you'll notice your might is now 10 out of 11 because your maximum is temporarily 10 um okay and whenever you go to reset it right now the system's already built properly you don't even have to worry about like modifying your maximum it's already taking into account that there's a one might damage lasting damage so when i cure them poison does my might go back uh you'll have to heal it back so it's it's harming you at the same time it's sort of lowering how far you can go Will my max go back up to 11? Though, yeah, 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 yeah. The max okay, is, okay. it's just as the poison builds up, the max goes down. But once the poison goes away, you're fine. Okay. I was hoping these guys would hit you more often. <laughs> okay, after he just starts, like, flashing purple, he's like, ah, fuck. It's the one downside to melee weapons. Fists, specifically. And don't worry, poison's not as much of a bitch as it is in Monster Hunter, so... <laughs> you have you fought have you fought anything with venom yet? Uh, nothing, just poison. Okay, well, imagine poison, but it does double the damage and ticks twice as fast. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Emmett, That's your turn. True. Oh, um, let me take you to. Like I know, I just built this fine, fabulous door, but let me take you to the Amazon rainforest where local tribes would actually rub the slime of snails onto their longboat canoes so they could easily navigate the shallower parts of the river. So only a couple of inches of water would actually be needed for these canoes to travel along. And I'm going to do uh, <laughs> the ease task again. Yep. Nice. Encouragement. And uh, I'm going to move a little bit away from the door. What is it? It's alt. I don't know if we want to be hearing about slime facts when we're with slimes. I thought it was just a fun, neat, fun fact for you and your friends, Billy. But slimes, we're kind of fighting slimes right now. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's the... why it's fun. Because I'm the fun about, guy. It's about a canoe, though, man. That is Double about reason. a canoe. It's about a slime and a canoe. It's like a two for a fact. And two for one. I'm trying to make slimes be good. Slimes are bad. Slimes are evil. Slimes need to be crushed. <laughs> we crush the shit so my poison will go away. The shit's painful. Why are you purple? Because I the slime poisoned me. Oh, the angry marmalade. <laughs> That's my turn. Canoe crusher. Uh, let's bash it. Or not. <laughs> no, that will not be enough, unfortunately. Oh, wait. He eased us this time. Oh, uh, he? Yep. he did. Nice. So that's a three. Yeah, it's, that will hit it. So okay. Three damage. Three damage, and he is dazed. Good old hindered tasks. Yep. Yeah, makes it easier for you guys. All right. Um, let's just start going this way now. Royal witches. The sensitive slime gets all all sensitive and sad and has to walk the other way now, or slime the other way now. Yeah. <laughs> With like the sad theme from the old old Hulk TV show playing in the background. <laughs> um. Royale with cheese is going to like fan his hands and like wave off the claws as they like crystallize and come back into his inventory. And once again, he's going to pull this gat out of the air and fire it right in the face of this slime. Pop, pop, bam, bam. Pop, pop. Pop, pop. Uh, whoa. Um, Whoa. It's Adam. He's got his feedback issues going on again. Uh, that will yeah. m easily hit. Easily hit. So that's four damage. Yeah. Four damage. 
Excellent. Uh, okay, I would like... Uh, we've got two, three, uh, no, we're good. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna intrude that. I think we're gonna do them pretty good. Okay, yeah. It's not quite dead, um, but it's, you, you, hear, you heard it pretty good. It's barely, barely up. I will, I will admit, you do look pretty cool when you hold it sideways. Thank you. But it, it's very unsafe. <laughs> Horses, it's a clizzy. Uh, Okay. I will be right back. Yeah. Moving these guys. All right. Disorganized purple slime is going to be attacking KFG. KFG is going to dodge. Oh, no. Don't worry about it. I have really good. Okay. I got All right. this. All right. Uh, uh, uh. I have an asset to speed right now, and I'm like, and it's I'm dazed, trained. so it's, it's, and it's dazed. Yeah, so this would be it, no it's problem. difficulty level drops by one. Oh, so its difficulty is one. Uh, well, you don't know what its difficulty I don't think is. I can. Oh, I don't think I can fail, anyways. Uh, no, I don't think you could have failed. Well, you could have rolled a one. Well, I guess that you oh, actually you could still succeed. It would have just been with the oh, wait, team intrusion. That should be plus one. I, no, 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 no. That is right. right yeah. You're fine either way. It's it's no, it's a it's a little slime guy and he's dazed. Um. So yeah, he yeah. it comes in on you to attack and you just you just bat it away. Not a problem. Kept you does like some I don't know some flips and shit. Gluckster. Those are some pretty cool flips, KFG. Then I'm gonna Thanks, just yet try to stomp on him again. All just right, for the kicks, <laughs> just just keep stomping on like ketchup packets. Oh my god! He got a little bit on his shoe, and then he's just pissed, and now he's just uh yeah. <sighs> you stomping. you beat it by a lot. Technically, you wouldn't have killed it because it was one damage. I'm gonna give it to you anyways, um, because you you beat it by a lot because it was dazed still, <laughs> so. Yeah, you just step on it like, like I said, like a like a hot ketchup packet, and it's just like, and then it goes, like smushing the ground. But those damn slime, and drops our stuff. Oh yeah, and I get actually oh, I, I missed a couple. I, think I might, I might have squished it, man. I'm sorry. I was, I was stomping it a little too hard. Yeah, like a gold brick started to form, but you stomped it anyways, it weighs, and it went. <laughs> I think that. I don't know if there's any slimes left or. KFG. There are. Oh, there's, there's definitely slimes left. Did you not. The. The door? You know? The, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. fuck. We gotta end this combat, man. This poison's not gonna go away. Where's the bus? I see loot over there. What do you guys wanna do? Go grab new the stuff. Maybe there's maybe new there's something stuff. there for you. Uh, maybe. Uh, I can move in the green and not take an action, right? Yep, yep. Uh, you can even move into the yellow if you want to try and make a roll for it. I don't need to get too far away from everybody. Uh, I guess we'll go like this way. How far yeah, down is that cliff? Yeah. How far down? yeah. <coughs> oh, it's it's not that bad. It's more of like a like a slope leading into the the pool of ooze. Awesome. Oh, pool of ooze. Yeah, guys, oh. I see a slime on the other side of this. Uh, I don't know pool. Just like in the first room, I'll let you know. Any of the pools that you see in this dungeon are not water. Oh, well, maybe if we had a canoe or some sort of other type of watercraft, that we'd be able to get across this and be able to get to the other side and get the loo. Would you look at that? Um, so it's not water. You'd put water in that green stuff. Can I roll a speed check to because I can see this thing. Can I roll a speed check to make an action? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Watch me fucking trip on my ass. Oh, oh no, nice. you're good, you're good. You can still do an action. Oh shit. I'm gonna shoot a flaming key blast at it. Oh, pew pew. 
Is this uh, eased or no? Uh, ye uh, no, it's not a normal attack. It's, a, it's an ability. Oh, it doesn't count as a... Because it says in the thing it's an attack, so I thought... Oh, it was... is it? Is it? Is it? Let's see here. Yeah, it's it's an attack that does three damage, uh, and then it oh, lights yeah, you're right. fire. You're right. Okay, no, I would, I would allow it to count then. Yeah, go ahead and ease it by okay. one. Cool, cool. Makes sense. That makes sense. Beauty of Cypher. If you can convince me of it, it's good. <laughs> right? I, I appreciate the haggles. No problem. I, I'm good for haggling, you know? Yeah. Oh. Uh, two will not will not strike it, not unfortunately. It. That's alright. No, it just kind of like it like goes off into like the ooze pool and you, there's like some of the ooze just like crackles and pulls back for a second before flowing back in very slowly. Gross. Yeah, KFG's like, I'm pulling the mobs! And just like <laughs> throws a fireball. Emmet. Perfect. Um, can I roll my speed check before I try to move, or if I roll it, does yeah. it take my action? No, no, you you can roll your speed check before if you want. Okay. So, you, like, I can roll just, it, you're, fail, you're and then taking, still take an action? You're taking that risk that you roll a one, and that I can fuck with you. <laughs> oh, but you can roll okay. it either before or after I allow. Awesome. Uh, and you you only need a two. It's not a big, it's not a big speed check, so yeah, you you make it. Gonna move on up. And what, what was I talking about? Yeah, the Amazon rainforest tribe. And then they would hunt, you know, pink dolphins in the rivers from their canoes in the shallow shores. And I'm just gonna keep blabbering about canoes. Okay. And yeah. Oh, I, I would like to roll my intellect. Yeah. That's okay. Sure. Yeah. Oh, a major effect, huh? major effect yeah all right i was gonna fuck with you but you know what that's i'm not gonna i'm not gonna make you waste that role i like it what do you think a good major effect would be that everybody gets more hyped out about canoes for whatever reason i will give it you're easing everyone's attack by two for this round there we go awesome like this was a really good fact everyone's like oh yeah wow Ride a canoe now. <laughs> That's a really interesting fact. Mm. <laughs> How about that? Awesome. <laughs> canoe crusher. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Oh, there's more. Uh, I don't think I have any ranged abilities. You're very much like a melee main tank. <laughs> yes, I am. Um, yeah, I don't have... Those are far, so yeah, I'll just... Uh... Royale will cheese. What hand crossbows are for... That's what what? Yeah. So that's what hand crossbows are for. Oh, jeez. Uh, do, 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 do. So at that point, I should put a link, because you got the video for the hand crossbow thing up? I think. Uh, did I upload the raw video? It, well, if, if you get a video up at some point before I edit and put, upload this video, like, stick it in the corner. Like, hand crossbow. <laughs> There we go. Get right up beside KFG. My buddy, my pal, my companion, my friendo. Getting up there. And that is all I'm going to do for now. All right. All right. Yeah, this like door being built really kind of just split everything to make go around. Like, ugh.
Gluckster. I think I can move up pretty far. Yeah, you can you can move up. You've got fleet of foot. You can you can go green and still do an action right away, or you can even just go into the yellow without an action and don't need a roll. How far is the drop right here? Uh it's gradual. You don't have to worry about the height difference. But that's not water. And that's not water. It is a so don't eat it. It is an undulating viscous fluid. Sort of a bluish cyan in color. I'm not gonna eat it this time. I've, <laughs> eaten, jelly, I've eaten jellies before. <laughs> but I'll just try to take a, a shot with a bone arrow. I'm pretty close though. Sure. Don't eat it, Dragmere. I mean <laughs> Glux Oh jeez. I like it. I like it. Uh, all right, so <laughs> Gluckster, you go up. You're like, yeah. You like lean forward with the bow and arrow to try to like just shoot down and get that little extra oomph out of it, uh, falling into the ooze. Uh, oh hell yeah! Uh, it, I I need a it, might defense check, please. It would have been eased by two. It's a it's uh, it's uh it's it wouldn't have hit because it's not high enough, and then he still has the GM oh. intrusion. He actually needed a three for this guy. Damn. What's this game's writing? Because the next F word coming out of my mouth depends on it. Okay. You you're not restrained by the viscous liquid, um or or choking on it or anything bad like that. Um, but you, you think getting out of it is probably gonna be difficult. Um so we're yeah, we'll just you're while well, you're when you're in it, you're gonna probably need another check to try and get out of it. It's like being in like really really deep thick mud, you know, like pulls on your boots. Um, but you're not actually physically restrained, and you're not like you didn't take like a mouthful of it and choke on it or anything. Okay. KFG. Well, he sees that there's what do you call it's over there. He doesn't really want to get like. Too, too close to that liquid. Who wants to move up? Uh, hmm. Yeah, he's gonna shoot a fireball again. Uh, he's gonna hit the... Let's go with the poison slam. Okay. That sounds good. And this is ease, right? Ease by two. By two? Oh, okay. Yeah, Emmett went in overdrive. <laughs> well, let's go. Yeah. I'm okay. I'll take the three damage. <clears throat> oh my. So I, I fireball that thing for six damage, and it is on fire, taking an additional one point of damage per round. Uh, I, you don't have to worry about that. You hit it with the fire. Um, yeah. And this is the first time you really hit one of these with fire or whatnot. It just explodes. It The oh. fire seems dramatically effective. Oh. Can I, like, hi Can I, like, hide under my shield? Yeah, you have little rains of, like, purple goo, like, like on your shield. So we shall fight in the shade. Like, looks at his hand, he's like, guys, I think I'm gonna throw more fireballs. That's, uh, not a terrible idea, bro. Not not all of the slimes are like this, but yeah, most of the, so you're guessing at this point with that information, probably some of the slimes at least don't deal well with fire. Yeah, it looks like the purple ones are weak to fire, so uh, I'm gonna huck more fireballs at those. Um, oh, that was my movement and my action and all that stuff, so I'm gonna pass to Emmett. Emmett, what are you doing? You know, I, I use the metal tools. To open or open and reclose the door, but canoes were never really made with metal tools. See, people use mostly stone and various other methods of just digging out tree trunks. And really, canoes come from the idea of just some guy had cut down a tree, hollowed it out, and tried to make it float. And I just think that's beautiful. And I'm just gonna keep going on. I'm going to do a speed check to see if I can move a little bit more. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Come up here beside my son, and then I'll roll my intellect. 
Yep, you are good. No, no effects, unfortunately, but still very good. Yeah. Talking real loud about canoes right near your canoe crusher. Oh, God. All right. Move up a little. And let's swipe this bastard. Okay. Swiping down on the little little blue slime. Wabash! Oh. oh. I didn't use that. Uh, Should have been only by one, though. Yeah, it still, still unfortunately would miss. So you go to swipe down, and this little guy just, yeah, just seems to deftly dodge to the side. Uh, okay. That's all it can do. Royale with cheese! Oh, uh, there's still so many more. Why are there always more of these fucking slimes? Uh, did you... I, I, I can only see one. Well, two. Yeah, because there's that swarm and then there's that little one, right? Yeah. We can see yeah. them. I'm not going crazy. Those are, the, those are the two that you can see. <laughs> yeah, then I'm going to shoot the, the big one. The swarm? With my gun. Got it. And it's eased? It is eased. Uh, that is not enough. Aw, oh, damn. Losing our rolls. Yeah, yeah. You, you guys have fluctuated. Have you ever rolled really shitty or really good? Uh, Wistful Blue Slime. It's going to move over here and attack Gluckster. Uh, the slimes, by the way, do not seem impeded by the goo at all. They're swimming through it, no problem. So Gluckster, speed? Uh, I need a speed defense roll or task for me, please. Unless you want to defend by a different way. Uh, that is not enough. He's going to hit you. Uh, that's going to be three points of damage to your might pool. He's beating me up. He is beating you up. All right. And then it's your turn. I kind of want to stab him, but I definitely just want to get out of here, so... You can do both. I'll let you, you know, it's, so? it's, it's going to be an, gonna cost an action. It's going to be an action to, to extract out. yourself from this goo. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Try to just jump out and be like, Canoe Crusher, help me out, man! <laughs> so jump up here. Uh, yeah. Um, I'll give it, since it's your full action, I'll give it to you without a roll. Um, you, like, okay. just, with this, like, sucking sound, you just extract yourself from this, like, viscous, like, non-Newtonian mm. liquid. <laughs> sucking sound. And, uh, just covered in this goop, I'm just, like, s s slamming it off myself. And that's my turn. KFG. KFG's gonna try a fireball at that blue slime. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, this is eased by one, right? Yes. Alright. I hate asking that every time, but, you know. Oh, let's go! Plus one damage again? Oh, shit. That would be four? Four damage. Uh, and then the Ten. extra damage for being... F uh, how much extra damage do you take? Oh, yeah, so... F that's fair. These guys. These little guys are durable. <laughs> Damn. Still took extra damage. Like, you could tell it was effective. Like, very effective. It, it basically bypassed... Like, this guy should have taken less damage, but he didn't. Oh, okay. Got you. Like, they're, like, armored or something? Yeah, it's armored, and it definitely took more damage because this was a fire attack. Got you. Like, they're, it just doesn't protect against fire or whatever, probably. It's also on fire, unless, like, being in the slime negates that or something. I don't know if that would. Uh, we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll put it as on fire for now, but he is, like, swimming through slime. Yeah. You know, maybe if he climbs out of it, it'll do damage or something. Right now he's on top of it. He's, like, resting on the slime. So 
Oh, when does the okay. fire like tick? Is it on your turn? On it, kind of? Yeah, they can walk I in. I believe so. It doesn't actually say. It uh, just says additional per round. per round for up to a minute. So it would it would be ticking on your turn. Yeah. So it depends on what he does. So if just, he if it goes under the slime, then cool. But if he goes ashore, then he's still on fire. <laughs> slime. De -de -de -de. Under the slime. Um, yeah, and that'll be my turn. So let me end this here. Emmett. Um. Yeah, and they specially designed their canoes in the Amazon rainforest to be able to navigate these rivers. They were very long, very narrow. They were covered in slime. But then at the end of the day, when the night would come, a lot of bugs would come out. So they would actually flip the canoes over and bed them in the ground and sleep underneath them as like small little pod tents. And I'm just going to keep talking about canoes. All right, more encouragement. Adequate, adequate. Canoe crusher. Time to b b b bash this big green group. Uh, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a do something this time. Just to kind of, I guess it. Oh, beat him up, Billy. Oh wow, difficulty uh, yeah. eight. With a plus two damage for five damage against this thing? Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, and it was dazed because it's a bash. And it's dazed. Hell yeah. Yeah, that was a <laughs> Sick of slimes. <laughs> See, so you just go in, you just start, like, wailing away at these, like, they're, like, hopping on, like, the, the top of, of the slime pool, and you're just like, bam, 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 bam. Um, so, I think on its turn, and uh, what it's gonna do is it's actually going, it's still dazed, unfortunately. Um, but it, like, it temporarily, the slimes just kind of, like, submerge into this pool and come back up. Uh, and, is that enough? Oh, it is. Yeah. And that, that's its turn. Royale with cheese. So this thing just submerged and restored itself? Yes, it is submerged into the large slime pool and came up revitalized with more slime. Um, Royale's going to step forward and he's going to fire at the blue one again. Okay. Big money, big money, no whammies. Uh, difficulty three is enough. Yes, that is uh, four damage. It's another four damage. Okay, so... Uh, not enough to take it out. Uh, sorry, guys. It happens. You're doing it the best you can, and you're doing amazing. Uh, this thing is also going to here but it submerges and swims there on the way so it's not burning anymore and uh actually didn't fully heal but it it restored a lot and then it pops back up uh can it move anymore oh a little bit it's moving up this way gluckster i think we need to focus fire guys Coming right for you, Jamie. I'm just thinking, can I start a way, think of a way to pull him up here, but... Hit the slime, I'll finish it up! You guys have discovered another aspect of this dungeon now. <laughs> yeah, we'll need to team up and do some burst damage, man. I'll just, I'll show you... I'll finish this blue one and then pull the green one out of the juice. Weeze the juice. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you the blue one. That should be eased by one. Should be eased by one, so it would hit. So that is going to be four points of damage. And then yeah. Get it. Let's move a few steps this way. Okay. And then that's my turn. Okay, FG. Okay, FG is going to step up to where Jamie was, I guess. Like, kind of close enough. Enough to punch that thing. 
this full power punch. You're like reaching down like over the shore and just like punching into the liquid like bah, 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 bah. punches like a wave of like thunder energy at it. Uh, okay, that is that is enough. You do actually take it out. See, if the slimes are smart, I could have had them all, like, wait in the pool and then fight you, but they're slimes, so. <laughs> right? Um, okay, let's see. There's my punch and whatnot. Uh, yeah. Emmett, you're up. Emmett, you might want to move. I'm going to pull this thing up here. Well, sure. Um... Yeah, not only would they sleep under their canoes, they would use them to travel in the very shallow shores, but they would also actually eat the slugs afterwards. They would smear these giant slugs they found under logs all over their canoes to make them real slick and real fast. But then they would eat the slugs afterwards, uh, sometimes cooked, sometimes raw. Um, you ever eat a slug, KFG? What? No. Are you lying to me, boy? My diet consists of pizza, although not anymore because I'm banned from that place. Or I probably will be when I don't pick up the... How long has it been? The pizza guy's probably been. Oh, God, why am I thinking about this in a dungeon? You can get snails on pizza, don't you? Anchovies and all that stuff? Ooh, snails on pizza? <laughs> I don't know. Give her Sounds like some gourmet shit. Yeah, man, there's, like, a place in Los Angeles that'll give you, like, bugs on pizza. Uh, so I'm assuming you're moving it, like, up onto shore. A little further, if I can. Yeah, sure. Here, a little... Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and then I'm gonna try and block its path. Okay, and, and you did actually hit it. Like, difficulty four does actually hit it, so you did actually do the three damage as well. Tactics. Ooh. Like it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, and then it's just going to attack you back because you just did things to it. Bad things. You touched it. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, you touched it. So it's just going to come at you and be like, oh, Billy. And, um. Oh. <laughs> four damage to your might pool. <sighs> Don't you have armor, Billy? Oh, that's true. Yeah. Armor will that lower that. This? Armor will lower that. Um, why is oh, your shield? Two of that. Why is your shield rated as having an armor? What do you mean? Your shield is for some reason rated as having an armor rating. They don't normally have that. Mm. It shouldn't be. It's because it's shields provide a asset on your like rolls. Um, but yeah, you should have a two armor right now. So yeah, you you would yeah, take two. I don't know if that was because if you didn't have it there, it wasn't rolling it. Uh, well, it doesn't do it automatically. You have to factor it in yourself. It's been doing it automatically. Uh, on my defense rolls. Oh, I think I think because I already plugged it in for you. Oh, okay. Uh so it's still minus two though, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah, you lower the damage by two. So you only take two to your might pool. Okay. It doesn't cost me a dime. Nope, because you got armor. No, the edge, oh. right? Uh, Royal with cheese. Uh, I'm so sick of these fucking slimes, man. <laughs> I hear ya. Back to the claws. Too bad you're in a slime dungeon. Oh, not great. Not great. There's just too many of them, and they're like like hyper and bouncing from having been in that stuff. Um, and he's like oh, he's also gun. like starting to get tired, like from, like from the gun back to the claws, from the gun back to the claws, trying to like fucking swing in on them. He's 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 starting to tire out. Yeah, Gluckster. I'm gonna run a bit this way. Okay. Just full sprint, I guess. Sure. Take a shot with the... Yep. Pew pew. The bow and arrow. 
Hip Joe. You can like get down on one knee, crouch, aim for the shot. But when Eva. Uh, three is not enough, unfortunately. Uh, wait, that's eased, eased by, one. by one. Eased by one. Uh, I keep forgetting to set that. My apologies. That's okay. Uh, f that is enough in the in the in that fact though that you do actually hit it. Um, good chunk out of it too, actually. Four damage. Okay, like holding the ball to the side. I'm like, oh, does that count? Let's <laughs> hold it to the side. <laughs> and then that's my turn. <laughs> Shooting a bow, gangster style. Okay. Well KFG wants to do things for science, but he'd rather just kill this thing, so he's gonna punch it. You do you. He wanted to fireball it. You do you. Beats a five. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, is dead. Is dead. Ladders uh, all of the slimes oh, oh. against the wall. You rolled a thing. You rolled the thing. Oh fuck yeah, a bone mask, dude. Uh, let's hear. That's fucking sick. Let's roll. You got some gold too. Two gold. Okay, so. Be. And one of these. Uh, I'm just. I just re reused. Um, this like loot that I had from the other room. So just the word loot there is lootable. Uh, this also brings us to the end of this combat. Did you take out the last dude? Ta -da! Hey. Oh, Good job, you. guys. Stuff, Luxter, you can have that <laughs> mask. I, I grabbed the last one. I mean, am I, what if it was like somebody who died in that slime or something, man? Okay, I'll do take you it, want... Though. Do you want the wooden mask and I'll take the bone mask? I ain't afraid to wear it. You can't do the slime, don't do the crime. <laughs> While they're talking about that, I'm gonna try and run and jump to that loot. Yeah, yeah. You seem like yeah. a guy who'd wear a bone mask. Yeah, you don't have to worry about the slime pools when you're not in combat. It's slow going, but it doesn't hurt you or anything. It just like you just have to trudge through it. It's like thick mud. Um the the loot pile is unlocked because that was just like you couldn't just like in combat, you just couldn't loot it. Ooh. Interesting. Yeah, if you want to do that, Platt, I'll take the wooden mask, you take that bone one. Yeah. How do I give this to you? Can I put it in the loot pile? Uh, next to I think you can put, drag it from your character sheet to the loot pile. Either that... Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, I was Either that I or you could request a trade. There we go. I got it. There we go. So now KFG equips a bone mask instead of a wooden mask. There you go. Upgrades. Yeah, I'm like, look at it first, like, before I put it on. Like, inspecting the loot, right? Like, checking the stats on it. And I'm gonna go here, and I'm like... Uh, I, I... I know you like this, and you'll want it. And I'm gonna give Emmett the fishing rod. Alright. Hey, look, Emmett, we found one for you, like we said we would. Son. That is so nice of you. I'm proud of you. You're covered in slime, but I'm proud of you. Look at that. That's a mighty fine fishing rod. I'm going to give uh, you a hug. You need either I'm going to kind of back away, though. Okay. Yeah, you can either drop the fishing rod in that loot thing there to, for him to take it, or you can request a trade with the request trade button. Okay. Wait. Oh, yeah. Where's the request trade button? Uh, lower left under the players list. Yeah. If she's gonna like punch this loot chest until it unlocks. All right, roll an attack for me. <laughs> this is locked. Oh, is it actually locked? Oh, okay. Let's go. Yeah, full power punch. Uh, <laughs> King rolled an eighteen. Oh shit! All right. Uh, I also need a speed defense roll, please, uh, from both Gluckster and KFG. <laughs> okay. As it explodes. Oh, nice. Nice. Gluckster's, like, sitting there with his, like, thieves, his lock pick up, picks out. Yeah, I was coming oh, up just to see if I could break it open. Right, can dude. you use armor? Um... I mean, anyone can use armor. <laughs> uh, alright. Gluckster, you're going to take, uh, Three points of might damage, uh, and it's fire, so it bypasses any armor you have. 
Uh, KFG, you didn't take anything. You'd actually dodged out of the way of the blast enough that it didn't hurt you at all. I'm gonna use my my water key heal on Gluckster. <laughs> oh. like, sorry, bro. Have I healed you yet today? Or since last session? Did I heal you at all last session either? I don't know. You don't know. And it exploded, man. The chest There's and all its contents gone. are gone. There's nothing left. And then we got the loot pile out, like, all burnt to a crisp. There's just, like, a blast mark. I'm dying. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna roll the heal. What did you lose again? Oh, that's where all the gold was? There you go. Have, have five points of healing to a stat. Probably your might. Yeah, your might. I got them all in my and I'll, but hey man, thank you. I'll like, get up <laughs> off the ground, crush myself off. Okay, we are gonna... let's take a, a quick five minute break. I'm dancing here, I need the washroom. So we're gonna take a quick five okay. minute break. Uh I'm gonna leave it unpaused. Feel free to move her out, trade as you please, stuff like that. I'm just gonna put us in the BRB screen. Um also, uh there's one thing I forgot to do. Uh, I, that I keep forgetting to do at the end of these combats. Anyone that fired a ranged weapon that takes ammunition, I need depletion rolls from you. So, you look at the amount of ammunition you have, and roll a d6. If you roll under the amount of, or equal to or under the amount of ammo that you have, you'll lower the amount by one. So, Royale with cheese, you didn't lose anything. Uh, and we'll wait for the other guys to get back. Obviously, um, Tad didn't, <laughs> didn't do any, any ranged shit. <clears throat> well, yeah, I, I, I fired my gun a couple times. Um, uh, sorry, not Tad, uh, Billy. Can you crush her? I can now. I have a bow, but I'm not gonna probably keep it. Hey, yo, what up? Hey, yo, yo. I know Gluckster Actually, did range yeah. stuff, so I'll have Gluckster, when he comes back, uh, roll a depletion for his ammo for me. Uh, I don't think KFG did, though. He just did his, like, fire blast. Yeah, the only range thing he has is a slingshot, which doesn't have ammo, really. So, yeah. We'll wait for Gluckster to get back. We'll roll his, his ammo depletion, and then uh, we can continue on. Before we continue on, I, I would like to try to fish in the goo. In the goo? Oh, all right. Uh, you want to fish in the goo? I would like to fish in the goo. Uh, I want to catch goo fish. Okay, um, I'll give you a chance, but it's not, it's not going to be easy. Um, here, we don't need this scene anymore anyways. Okay. Oh, what? Yeah, I made a whole system, motherfucker. <laughs> like, these buttons for me even work and stuff. Um, so, the way fishing in this works is you start at, like, a difficulty one, and uh, as you, as you, like, you can, you, as you succeed, you can say, I want to stop there, and I'll take the results from there, or you can take the risk and go, I'm going to go difficulty two and keep fishing, and you can keep doing this. So it's a gamble. Do you want to take where you are, or do you want to keep going? Fucking amazing. <laughs> awesome. I thought it would make it a little more interesting than just, like, roll, pale, uh, fail, or pass. Um, something like that. So, yeah. So, if you want to fish... <coughs> now, because this is, like, a random-ass ooze pool in the middle of the dungeon, I'm kind of upping this. Fair. Um, That's definitely fair. So, yeah... No, you know what? I'll... Four. Sounds good. Okay, let's do it to a four. Uh, but it's gonna be considered... Like three less than it is. So this four will give you the quality of fish from a level one fishing result type thing. Um, just because, like, not a lot lives in these pools per se. But you can give her kind of fish in the jelly. He's fishing in the, fish jelly. in the jelly. God damn it. So now that you have a fishing pool, you have access to do this. So it is going to be a. Um, I would allow you to choose whether it's going to be a speed task or intellect task, depending on whether you're just like trying to like 
or even a might test, basically, and how you're handling it. Are you brute force, like, reeling things in? Are you, like, planning methodically where you should cast, etc.? So you basically get to choose what stat this is based off of. And then, of course, if you have a fishing skill, you can roll that. Like, it'll apply to the roll. So, yeah, your roll, difficulty four. Okay, I'm going to go for intellect because I'm using some knowledge, okay. kind of canoe knowledge. Can I use my canoe knowledge? No, no, this would not apply for canoe knowledge. All right. So just straight intellect. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, because I don't think you actually have like an actual fishing skill yet. You'll get there. And you, those arrows. and you can apply effort and stuff like that. Oh, Gluckster, while you're here, I need a uh, a ammo depletion roll from you, please. Um, what it is is you roll a d6. If you roll equal to or number uh, equal to or less than the number of arrows that you have, and consider this before you picked up these arrows, you lower your number of arrows by one. Okay, so you're going to remove one arrow from your inventory. Okay. Is it safe to say that my poison has worn off? Yeah, the, that, that was being reduced. At rate of one minute. Yeah, that was being reduced at a rate of a minute. It's gone now. Yeah, I figure we're probably spending at least a minute fishing and trading yeah. and whatever. Yeah, uh, go ahead and... Before I roll this, can I um use anecdote to tell a canoe-based fishing story to give everybody training in fishing? Uh... You know what? Or how he was fishing on a canoe. Anecdote. But For the next hour, those who pay attention to your story are trained in a task that you choose that is related to the anecdote. As long as it's not an I attack I don't know or if anecdote is supposed to work on yourself. I think it's just supposed to work on others. Does it say tar wait, it's but the it, targets you choose, though, right? Yeah, it doesn't say not. You know, I'm going to give it to you this time. Well, I'm going to look it up afterwards to see if it is supposed to be allowable on you or just apply to others, but I'm going to give it to you here. Wait, awesome. so we're, we're all trained in fishing? You are all yeah. temporarily trained in fishing. So I'd like to offer um, him aid in his fishing by, like, holding the rod with him, ghost style or something, <laughs> to, to ease the task. Oh, form. fuck you, got Yes, I will allow yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> like, he, like, so, feeds the information back at you. <laughs> style, really? Okay, can I, like, cheer them on, and because you can have two assets, and since I'm trained in fishing, does that also stack? <sighs> All right. So you are not only trained in fishing, you have two assets. <laughs> I hate all of you. This is bullshit. We're just having this like, epic fishing new <laughs> conversation, <laughs> bonding moment, We're telling KFG all about the new trip. And Eight. Yeah. What an Eight. Jesus. So, Emmett, you, you have succeeded. Would you like to take the results of where you are, or would you like to try again at a higher level? Go ahead, bro. I think I, I, I got a nibble or something. I think I'm going to go for it. Are you, you're reeling it in? No, I'm going for the oh, next you're, level. You're gonna, okay, all right. The, the level two. It's the same <laughs> thing. I get the two assets. It's a, you're yeah you're gonna be at a plus three yeah. in total from the training and the two assets because I'm assuming you're fucking bullshit of just talking each other up, which I it's in the rules. <laughs> my whole character. This is my whole character. Yeah, this is your this shit. Game this is, is what you do. Balanced and there's nothing wrong with it. It's not though because he's not pumping out the damage. Like this is what he does, That's right? True. Like, That's the beauty about Cypher. He has a character almost entirely focused around skills and just buffs and stuff. He's a force multiplier is what he is. Difficulty uh -oh. 4 is a fail! I'm gonna use my XP to reroll that. Okay. Let's go! <sighs> okay. Real quick, trained. <laughs> two assets. Well, let's go. Shit. Okay. Did you want to take that roll, which would be as, as if it was level 2 fishing, 
Or did you want to try and go higher? Yeah, I've turned life skills into gambling. I love this. <laughs> again. If, uh, if I go again, there's no there's no way I can save it. I think I'm just going to... Yeah. You got to no, know then. when to hold them and know when to fold them, KFG. And I'm going to... You're really I'm pulling in. in my, yeah, I'm pulling in my level two. All right, let's see. Let's see I what play you a got. Monk because I can spend everything on gambling and don't have to care about equipment. Uh, you okay. caught a small fish. You actually get uh, a piece of fish out of it. Let me give it to your inventory here. Hey, let's go. Somehow there was some living fish in this like goop, and m very not expected by me. Um, you got one under mats and loot. You got one fish. Nice. Uh, useful for the cooking thing that I do believe uh, BHG's character is going to do eventually. You know it. Amazing. And that's we how our one. life skills work. <laughs> good job, KFG. Good, good job, Royale with cheese. You guys are just fantastic. You're both fine young gentlemen, and you did great. You good job, Emmett. We'll you're you're well. a fine mentor. Mm -hmm. Oh, you, you know what? that slimy ass fish, man? Yeah, man. I'm going to show the everybody what they were looking at. This is this is the chart that I have for the life skills as as he goes up. This thing is is doing its thing. And then I can choose to roll with this box. I can type in the number, click the thing. I don't have mining finished yet. And then I can just reset it. Everything's automated because Foundry is fucking awesome. <laughs> there we go. So fishing, cooking, hunting and mining. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, no, sorry, that's gathering. Cooking, cooking is just um, is, is is part of the crafting skills. Um, this this is fishing, gathering, hunting, and mining. I see, I see. These are like materials, and then the other ones are like professions that use yeah. the materials. Like that makes sense. Yeah, yep. these are just for gathering. That's awesome. <laughs> there you go. You you see what your dad caught, Billy? Yeah. It's, it's, Pretty pretty large, but you know, might be good for later. You see the fish, Billy? Uh, I see the fish. Now, uh, does anyone need a guitar, a sword, uh, a bow, a club, uh, a shield? How would a shield interact with my melee attacks? Would I be able to do melee attacks and equip a shield? Sure, you just it takes up one of your hands. <clears throat> so you can't be like wielding like a two-handed weapon or anything, but if you're just punching oh, I don't shit. Give a shit about that. Yeah, okay, I'll take a shield, sure. It's what, an asset on speed defense rolls? Uh yeah, it gives you an asset on, on speed defense rolls. Uh, you'll have to give them uh, yeah, I'm, that uh, because it I'm doing it now. Yeah. Yeah, the, the armor thing is the only thing that's a little wonky as far as that's concerned. Uh, equipment. Oops. Gluckman, do you want this Qatar light weapon? Armor. What Shields. is it? I don't know what, it, what that is. Uh, can I show it in the... Why are you trying to give him a guitar? You play defeats. the guitar, Jamie? Qatar. K-A-T-A-R. I never play too much instruments, man. How do I uh, show this? Uh, it's is it shift click, control click? One of the buttons. I don't know if I can actually do oh, it because I'm the GM. There, go. there we go. <laughs> Agile punching dagger. Look at the handle on that thing. You like fucking punch somebody in the face with it. That's great. Yeah, yeah. I'll take that. Yeah, check sure. it. If you click on weapon light, it tells you what it does. It can be thrown. Yeah, yeah I'll take it. it. It eases your attack roll. It does two damage, but it eases an attack roll. Eased by one. Yeah. All right. That you should be able to trade to him. Yeah. Yeah, I have the Qatar. So no one needs a bow or a sword? No. Well, since we shot the glizzies and had two bullets, would I have to roll on those two? 
Um, whatever you shot with during the combat, you got to roll for depletion. So D six. Yep. What about what about hide armor? Anyone need hide armor? Um. If no one else wants that, someone else can take it though. This will be easier once you have your guild, and then you'll have your guild bank that you can put shit in. <laughs> yeah. We get to like two, two bullets. Uh, oh, how many how many um, bullets did you have for your shot? I had two bullets. Two? Okay, so you take away one. Basically, it's because it's, it's more of a cinematic thing. We're not tracking, like, it's not like you have two shots, per se. It's more of a rating, and then it gets, hard, like, easier to lose them if it's higher. Um, so you only, if you fail the check, you only lose one of the ammo. So you still have one left. It's to be a more cin cinematic way to track ammo, I find. Less Anybody want those armors? Anybody want one of those armors? I think they're good. I like my robes. I'll take the hides basic one. Okay. Oh. Hey man, I've got I don't got too much to trade. Thank you though for the stuff. Well, it was it was in our it was in the boxes, so it's all it's everyone's stuff. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, if anyone ever wants this leather, or... got it on you. All right. With that, you've taken a a short break. So, if anyone wanted to use any recovery rolls, um, like how long do you guys stay here? Like ten minutes. The only rest I have left is a is is a uh, a ten hours. So. Same. <laughs> <laughs> Same here. Wearing you down. It's a long dungeon. I mean, if you guys want to yeah. just rest here for an extended period of time, allow everyone else adventures in the dungeon, that's fine. You guys can do no. so. No. <laughs> Onward. Onward. Yeah, let's let's go to the next bring, place. Bring us back. <laughs> All right. So. You guys don't want to sit here and fish for 10 hours? No. <laughs> no. Good. We're going to do some more hex exploration, so I need two d6s if two people want to roll a d6. I got one. I got one. We're about to get hexual. Two and five. Uh, that would just bring you back to where you were, so we're going to... Oh, well, let's roll that again. Let's You two roll it again. Okay. Three and a six. Stop rolling opposites. You're just bringing yourselves back to where you were. <laughs> okay. Uh, what? So we roll again? Yeah, I roll one more time. There we go. That's better. So three brings you over here, and then one brings you up here. Oh. Oh. Something not a combat. Let's see here. Oh. Let's see Somehow here. Somehow it becomes a combat. I don't know if I like how excited he was about that. <laughs> Load! There we go. Uh, you found stuff. Maybe. Or an interesting situation. Let's find out. Uh, oh wait! But before we left the other room, could I have looked for ciphers? Oh yeah, you can always scavenge for ciphers. Sure, sure. Yeah. Let's do that. Is that something that BHG's character can just do, or can no? Any, like anyone can that? try to scavenge for ciphers at at any point. Just like sort of searching around the area. If you want to help him with that, you can. Yeah. Um, if you've got, if you're trained in any sort of like perception or searching for things or investigation or anything like that. Yeah, I have, uh, oh, I don't. So I'll bust out another anecdote. 
Oh, Jesus. About how diligent you have to be while you're riding canoes. Because, you know, anything can happen and you can flip at any time. So you have to be watching for logs, rocks, animals within the water. And, yeah. This Everybody's is, now trained in perception. This is equivalent of the guidance spell. I'm going to provide an spell. asset to his uh, <clears throat> search. Sons since of I'm bitches. trained in what you, you call Sons it of bitches, you found a loophole. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, um, you are trained if you're not already trained in it, and you have two assets for searching uh, for something. <laughs> it's an intellect base. Very good. Intellect roll. Uh, trained. Uh, eased by two. Yeah, it's trained and eased by uh, two assets. Two assets. Two yeah. assets. Two assets. Because we're forming like this little powwow that just keeps sharing information and. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about canoes. Power friendship. He's the task as well. Jesus. Okay. Beats that... difficulty four. Yeah, yeah. You're you, you're gonna get some. Uh, okay. So let's see what we get you here. Uh oh, you found a bunch of them. Okay. Let's get you something to loot from. Bring it up near you guys. Just like hug you around it. All right, let's uh, let's start feeding them in here. Oops. There we go. Uh, all right. So what did we get? Let me just make sure nothing's wonky here. Uh, oh, you got two of those. Okay. Wow, okay. There's some there's a good one in there too. Uh real good one. How, how do these work? You can only carry two? You right? are limited in the number of ciphers you can you can have at any one time. It yeah. depends okay. on your class how many you can carry. Yeah, like BHG I, I, can carry four, I think. <laughs> I can carry four subtles at a time. Subtles, that's but right. Only, you can only carry two only, manifest. Only, only two manifest, yeah. I can hold three. I have two, so Oh, sorry, did I not have them? Were they were they not? Oh, they should be should be shown. Oh, whatever. Yeah, if you drag them over, they may unidentify themselves. Just just click for me to identify them. Like there's a little oh, eyeball a, icon on them. They're in a chest. I see. It, yeah, it says none left for any of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot to uh, I forgot when I drag them in, it doesn't put it as one. It puts them as zero. There we go. Now they're updated to one. I have two, so I think I'm good on all these. Oh, I need one for sure, but I also you, like you can ditch ones if they're no good. Yeah, I want both of mine. Um, Bookman, how many uh, ciphers you got? You need any? What the hell? And remember, I did have it at the start of every session, uh, or whenever you use a recovery roll. If you have slots open, you can also roll for subtle ciphers. Oh, well, I wish I had known that. Hey, 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 Mr. Rogue. Gluckman. What's up, hey. man? Hey, there's some hey. keys in here that unlock yeah. chests. I think you're probably better at that than I am. Do you have room for them? I could take I could throw away this one cipher called Perfection. Or it just Perfection? Does, isn't that the one that isn't that, isn't next that the rolls one? And gives the person a twenty. That seems really good. I wouldn't throw that away, my guy. The other one is the arrow I have, the green wood. It's a one D six. Can you only hold two? Yeah. Limit two. Hmm. I could throw away the arrow. Doesn't seem like it's, you know. Yeah, that's fair. I was looking at that key because it says a chest too, right? It's got your name written all over it, bro. Like somebody find a chest, you don't have to just punch it right away. I can unlock it. Yeah, I'll I'll refrain from punching it. That's my bad, bro. <laughs> I'll I'll huck away that cipher I had, the Greenwood one, and then I'll take the <laughs> one of the keys. Yep. Okay. I think somebody should grab that firebomb. 
If they got can. an empty slot, I can take it. If there you go, there you go. Yeah, I can run that. Um, I'm probably never going to use this kung fu fighting one. Everybody was kung fu fighting. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> <laughs> what does it do? Oh, man. Bro, too bad we can't trade them. <laughs> Not the subtle ones, no. I also have this thing that I don't know if I'll... <laughs> That's so good! <laughs> oh, it's too bad you don't have my ability, because I can just, like, discard subtle ciphers for new ones. <clears throat> yeah, it was in the settings, like, and we did it in, like, session one about the getting the subtle ciphers on start a session or recovery roll. And it was a while ago, though. So I can't just get rid of these? I have to use them? No, you can drop them. You just can't trade them. Oh, okay. I'll uh, I'll drop this Kung Fu Fighting one. What should I take? Cloud Cover or the Key? The Key seems like it could be useful. Cloud Cover might also be good because you can, like, I don't know, throw it down and then, you know, things can't really shoot at you. Oh. Yeah, so I already got one of the I already got one of the keys, but it could be used on doors and chests. Like it says anything, right? Anything locked that fits a key. Yeah, the key sounds like much better. I think. So we're not taking cloud cover. I don't think it's that. We don't need it. No, I don't think we need it. Okay. All right. Go. Okay, yes, I can go back to um, getting this. So we've got, it's four, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is like a D40. Uh, Oh, right. Who wants to roll a 1d40? Ooh, I will. Roll a 1. He what? did. <laughs> he did. you love to see it. Uh, oh, this is going to wow, make me work maybe. for a second. <laughs> oh, you had to jinx it, huh? Um... I don't know how I feel about this. Uh, roll a percentile for me. Okay. This is this is gonna be um, special. Okay. Well, we're gonna scroll all the way down. You had to call it there, eh? <laughs> I had to put roll the mojo out there. A wow, seventy. That is interesting. Okay, I need a second. I was not expecting this. <clears throat> okay, give me one second. One second. One second. Uh, I'm actually because you're gonna have to loot an item. I'm just gonna bring you guys back out for a second. Loot aisle. There we go. And I just need to make an item real quick. Uh, equipment. Billy. Why did you make your character look like Freddie Mercury? Oh. That's the exact response I would expect. You know, Queen, we will rock you. Who? Like, like a oh, drag queen? That guy doesn't look like a drag queen. You haven't shown him Queen before, man? I play it in my minivan all the time. 
Oh, that but, noise but that you play? Ugh. He's he's usually on his Game Boy with his headphones in. The heck's a Game uh, Boy? I can't believe you found this. Jesus. Emmett, I've never slapped a kid, but you you need to you need to talk to your son. Well, just because I don't know what these things are? He's always playing on them the, the TV games on the boob tube. Ha! <laughs> you said boob. That's inappropriate. Well, you said it. <laughs> boob. Boop, boop, boop. Don't say that, Billy. Stop. Well, you said it. Boop. <laughs> What's that, you know? Ground your son from the game, but we can't get out of it, so... Oh yeah, I wonder if we're going to be able to log out after this. I have things I need to do. Oh, my pizza! Wait, you think I should get grounded for something that he said too? If she but what about him? He said it. Or like, in anger, like falls to his knees, screaming about his pizza. Oops. Go down. It, it's okay. And it's okay. I'm sure. I'm sure they'll forgive you, and see it your way, KFG. And maybe, no. maybe you can stop getting pizza, and KFG can get KFC. No, I live off pizza because you can put different toppings on it, so you can fit all the food groups. It's the <laughs> ultimate food. KFC's gross. <clears throat> so I wasn't going to give you guys any magical equipment yet. Because you're not really to that point, you're just finding regular equipment. Um, but, somehow, Canoe Crusher here has rolled the perfect storm of numbers. So, uh, let me bring it in here. Uh, you, you didn't find, like, an uncommon or rare weapon. You found a mythic tier weapon. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> like, this is like a one no. in a million super rare drop. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Oh. No one no. should touch that. That looks very, very dangerous. No, no, no. This, I've, I have never seen this before in my life. But this, I don't really play a lot of PD. It never dropped in the beta. Oh, oh my god, dude. Somebody has to, because it, it, it gets charges based on how many people you piss off. <laughs> oh, man, this would be... But it's a thrown weapon, eh? I mean, what do you mean? It, it's, a, it's a blade. When it's used to commit a dark act? Oh, man, so this yeah. is a Gluckman weapon. <laughs> Is Gluckman going to take, like, a much darker arc? Well, he steals shit all the time. That's a dark act, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll show everybody here. So, every time he uses a dark act, he gains... It gains a number of charges equal to the people who swear to have revenge on you. So we need to get a thousand and... people to swear revenge on Jamie <laughs> Gluckman. I have a skill here. It's p pleasant social interactions is inability. Like, <laughs> I, I'm bad around people anyways. <laughs> This is like the Jamie Gluckman, like his ult. We we got his ultimate weapon, like three seconds in. Right off the hop, session. Yeah. What are we on? Session three. <laughs> Supposed to have a character arc to get this, but Jamie Gluckman's is just like a rare drop you can get at any point through the game. And yeah, <laughs> like the mythic tier weapons I had originally, you had to do like big quests for them or something. But there's a very rare chance in all of these tables, and you needed to roll a d40 and then like a right number on that d40 chart. Like, because the d40 was for the number, I have 40 charts to roll from. <laughs> so, like, oh and each chart is a percentile. So, that's that's of 4,000 things you could have rolled. 
rolled a mythic fucking <laughs> you rolled dagger. A mi- you rolled a mythic weapon. And then I had to choose what mythic weapon. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, that's a Gluckman weapon right there. I mean, uh, yeah, I don't use weapons, really. Swear revenge on Jamie Gluckman? Yeah, and the, the people that swear revenge don't have to be the people he did the dark thing to. Like, you you kill one person and ten people get pissed off at you, that's ten charges. I oh, also, yeah, their entire family. Yeah. I also swear revenge on Jamie Gluckman for all the misdeeds that he's going to commit that are going to fuck us over. Yeah, can I preemptively swear revenge on well, him? He's gotta well, do let's a, all just swear. He's got to do a dark act. For you to swear revenge about, and I, uh, and it's got to be like a legit. No, I would say no because I'm, uh, I get to say who, what when this actually procs. Yeah, because yeah. you're not, you don't actually mean it. If you actually That's meant fair. it, you'd be shiving him in the back right now. That's fair. That's fair. It's the long yeah. burn game. And We're gonna wait until after the video game. Killing him in a video game is not gonna do anything to him. We're gonna kill him in real life when we get out of here. But this has the I'm chance gonna, like, to be piss off an entire town. This has the <laughs> chance to be by far the highest damaging dagger you can get out of anything I have. Plus eight. Yeah, that's he grabs wild. A, grabs the dagger out and he's just holding it both ends. <laughs> and- right now, it's just a normal dagger. It's just doing like normal dagger stuff. <laughs> and a plus two when attacking a person who has sworn revenge on you. So, like, the more people you piss off, the stronger it gets. But also, when they come to kill you, it's better at killing them. Like, <laughs> yeah. you just get an extra edge for defending yourself against people that. Yeah. Wow. Wait, does that make it a plus ten when they attack? Yes. You? If it's yeah. against someone that pissed you off, yes. And that's to its base damage of two, so that's twelve damage. Elf. Plus other wow. modifiers you could potentially have. That's I remember that's, insane. that's just to damage, that's not to the attack. But still, that's that's twelve damage against someone that's sworn vengeance against you with a dagger that normally does two. But on the downside, you have a thousand people who want revenge on you. <laughs> that's fine. I got a dagger that does twelve damage to them. Like come at me. They have yeah. a thousand daggers. <laughs> they, they, oh, they're too damaged. Oh, like, All right, I so six times your damage. Uh, let's describe how you find this thing. Let, let's let's make something up here. So you're traveling through the lost laboratory of Elatar, um, and you find this like side room, and um, the lock has been corroded by the various slimes around. There's a couple of like slimes in here that you the little easy green ones that you easily dispatch when you don't even have to roll for that. There's just a couple of the slimes you like knock them. You realize um, that you can just they're the easiest of the bunch and you, they just shatter immediately. Uh, but in the center of this room, there looks like odds and ends for crafting of some of the alchemical and magical variety. But in the center of this room is where you saw the pedestal and upon this like pillow, this like satin pillow is sat this dagger. And like you like go up and you like you f- you flick it first to get the info for the dagger and it actually like does something you've never seen before and actually shows like a loading screen to show that it's the first time this item's ever been displayed to somebody like it's not in like cached memory yet um and then it loads and it gives you like the information about the dagger and that's where i do believe gluckman is the one that uh picked that up i don't think anybody should take that that's uh that's kind of evil, you know? You don't want to make people have revenge on you. I like yeah, that's up. awesome. I like it says, when it's used to commit a dark act, I'm just going to take this. Billy found it. I'm going to take it so it doesn't do any dark acts, okay? Protect. Keep him out of trouble. Keep it safe. Yeah, I'm not. I curiously threw you. He, he is pretty impressionable. It's probably for the best. I learned that word recently, vicariously. Jesus. It's a good word. Like pick it up off the the pillow. See so you you, you pick, pick it, it right up. Away. Yeah. It just goes right <laughs> on my character. Like you see, like the other dagger. Just get switched out for this one. And uh, I wonder if that's like the first weapon, epic weapon anyone's ever pulled. 
Uh, I would say the beta probably didn't r run long enough. You probably don't. You don't remember hearing anyone in the beta getting a mythic weapon. But he like, technically found it, Canoe Crusher. I'll, I'll make sure to say it. People, people started unlocking rare weapons and even, even occasionally some set items, um, but no one, un, no one got any mythic drops. This may very well be the first mythic drop in Windermere Fantasy Online. That's pretty cool. If he's gonna Jesus. like pull up his, Dang. pull up his, he's gonna take like a little like screenshot or whatever and like pull up his fucking. You know, like the feed, right? Yeah. The the in game forums like the and gen just chat. post it. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, he's gonna just post it and be like, Look what, what my party just found. I'm gonna like pose Ooh. in front of it. Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've immediately got people being like, I want that. Can I have that? Ten gold. No, three gold. Five gold? Twenty gold. I'm like, nah. <laughs> like like I'll just be like, You can't afford this. Not for sale. Some people Not even offer sale. like loot or sexual acts. <laughs> hey yo, pee pigs! Can't you said that there's like responds like... with like I put on my robe and wizard hat to those people. <laughs> <laughs> you said there's like materials around. There's some sort of crafting stuff. Uh, it Can looks look like it was a, it was a crafting area, but nothing else is really usable in this room. Okay, like it's all either so like decayed past use, or or most of it's been looted already, or the slimes look like they just naturally sort of eat through things. Hey, count, how's it going? <clears throat> so yeah, I was not expecting that. This is the equivalent of like a level one character in a D and D campaign finding an artifact. <laughs> like, yeah. Okay, cool. But I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna go with it. Um, yeah, let's get back to the uh, hex exploration. So I need two more d sixes for some more hex hex rolls here. Whoa, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Whoever wants to roll, one, five, and a four. Five goes this way. Four goes this way. Oh, another another room. Another room. <clears throat> Is it this one? Nope. It's, uh, nope. Find Skip that one. Here. We go to this one. You guys start here. Let's just like bring you in here. Oh, brought you on the wrong side of the wall. There we go. Bring it all the way down. Shall we? Okay. Reset. Fog of war. <clears throat> Traveling through the dungeon, you finally... You get through a couple more rooms. A lot of the rooms are, are empty or have decayed or been eaten away. The slimes seem to have uh, emanated from a certain area and have been slowly just eating through the laboratory. Um, finally, you find a set of stairs that leads down somewhere else. You do see a sign next to the stairs uh, that says the main laboratory. And that's where you head down into. KFG's gonna cast lightning key fists on himself because I assume it's worn off by now. Yeah, yeah. You you guys have been going at this for probably another uh half an hour. Oh, which reminds me, which reminds me. I'll do another thing. Uh there are three guild spots left. Oh my god. Wow. You're cutting it down to the wire. <laughs> oh my gosh, these oh, rolls. Gotta hustle. gotta hustle. There's more slimes. You see more slimes. This slime seems to be sitting at the center of some sort of runic circle glowing upon the ground. She's gonna look at the ceiling and look for more slimes. Uh, I start encouraging for attack tasks. Sure. Just talking about canoe attack tasks. Got it. 
Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, as you get that close, I am going to say that then that is where we saw that was basically where it's sort of like aggro or activate unless you are sneaking. Are you sneaking? I, I'm trying to be sneaky. I'm not trying to just roam right up to it. All right. All right. Stealth for me, please. Uh, speed, I'll right? give it to you. No one called they were sneaking, but I'll give it to you. Difficulty four. Yeah, somehow this thing still has not noticed you. Uh, th this thing looks pretty gross, bro. It's another swarm. Uh, KFG, you want to get yourself up front here and just do your <sighs> thing? Fireball? You want to just fucking run at it and punch it? Uh, it's your call, man. You're you're the, beat it the, with your blast. You're the professional. I'm gonna throw a fireball at it. Okay, so you're gonna get a free attack. Uh, it is going to be eased by two. Oh heck yeah! Because it is no, it's it hasn't responded to you guys yet. So we're gonna pause. So we're not moving around. Uh, beats difficulty three. Ah, uh, that is not enough. Darn. Did you want to do a reroll, or are you good? No, I'm all right. All right. So you throw a fire blast at it, but it just as the fire comes in and these things sort of sense the heat, that's when they it activates and they all sort of like scatter and spread for a moment. Um, instead of hitting this like runic circle and sort of breaking away part of it on the ground so that it doesn't seem to be glowing as much anymore. And all of a sudden the swarms seem free and able to move where they weren't able to previously. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, and is it is with that, since we are approaching the 10 o'clock mark and uh, getting into a full-scale combat and everything right now, might be a bit much. We're going to call it 15 minutes early tonight. Hey. Okay. So that is where Great we're going session. to leave it. So thank you, everyone, awesome once again for joining for another episode of Windermere Fantasy Online. As we get through the Lost Lab of Elatar, and uh, they're getting pretty damn close. Really damn close. So, we will see where it ends. I, I imagine next week is, pr they're probably going to get through the end of it. So, we shall see. Oh, we shall yeah. see. Once again, everyone here is a content creator or streamer. Check out their links in the doobly doo below. You'll find it there, whether it's now or in the edit later. And don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, all of that good stuff for me. Uh, also, check out uh, I've got a book, one book right now, soon to be more, on drive through RPG. Just look up for Ked Hup in the author thing. You'll find it. Cypher Foundations for this Cypher system. Awesome stuff. And then check out my other videos and everything. And, of course, like I said, their links are down below. We have a lot of other RPG live streams. So if you're hurting for, like, interacting with RPG communities and stuff, like talking with adam bhg like they run some pretty fucking killer games and you're gonna want to check those out for sure for sure uh anything else i'm missing guys i think that's it i think that's it yeah I think that's it all right well thank you for joining and as always stay healthy stay safe and have a good one eh?